Hello, it's Christian. Welcome back to my computer in Fusion 360. Today I'm playing around with a hex pattern on a cylinder. Uh, this is one of the first versions I did using when you emboss function, and I need six steps. We're going to reduce that down to four steps, so it's going to be quite easy to do. Uh, I'm using parameters, but there's a small problem with this thing. I'm, the way I'm doing it, it's not totally parametric, so if you change any of the parameters, you are going to crash the pattern a bit. So you need to decide before you start, you need to decide the uh, diameter of the cylinder, the height or the length or the dimension, what you call it, and the numbers of pattern you want around the circle or around the cylinder. So you need to decide that first. You can change parameter, but you have to go back and edit the sketches sometimes. So we could, might do a small look at that, depends on how long time this takes. We're going to start a new design. We're going to start by setting up our parameters. Uh, user parameters, yes please, name one. We're going to need a diameter. Let's do that to 100. We're going to do a uh, hive. Let's do, also do that 200, I'm lazy. Uh, we're gonna need uh, some some numbers of hexes or numbers of pattern. We need to change the unit here to no units. Important. I'm gonna do 20. That's what we did one earlier. So let's keep it somewhat simple. Uh, by that we have all the input we need. Now we need to do some calculations. We're gonna make Fusion do all the calculations, of course. Uh, this is gonna be our pattern with. The width of a pattern or width of a hex uh, is going to be in millimeters, but we need to do some calculations. So we need to calculate the circumference of our cylinder, which is our diameter, times pi. Remember, big letters in pi. And we divide it by the number of hexes we're going to use, like that. And OK. And that is the pattern width we're going to use later when we do the sketch. So we're going to hit OK. And we start by creating a cylinder. You can sketch it or by the use of a cylinder straight off from the create menu. Bottom plane, center point first is of course our diameter. And then is our height. And by doing that we now have a nice cylinder. We're going to create a sketch. Now I make sure to put the sketch on uh, any plane that is cutting the cylinder off with our height. This makes it much easier to do things. We are going to open up our sketch so we can see them and uh, we can turn off our bodies we're going to start with the rectangle and it's going to be the height and it's going to be the pattern width like that so height and pattern width and now we need to constrain this we're going to use a midpoint zero to here i do this i know i get the pattern where i want it so it doesn't I don't need to fix it using the emboss pattern. You can move things around with the emboss pattern, but I want this to be fixed so I know it comes straight out of the cylinder. And now we need to do our hexagons. Create polygon. Any one you want. We're going to change over to construction over here. And just do a hexagon. No dimension. Even by mistake, happen to have a dimension. Need to remove it because now we're going to constrain it. I'm going to put this hexagon uh, center on the side of the cylinder. So I'm going to do a midpoint on this line and this line and this line and this line. And by doing that, we have a fully defined sketch again because the hexagon is now locked down. So we don't need to calculate the size of hex or anything. This is going to be the center hex. Now we need to uh, have a hexes that's cut in like half. So we're going to do a line, steel construction, from here straight up and over to the side, something like that, and from here over to somewhere over here. Three lines, so we are not defined now, so we need to do that. So we're going to use this line, the line, the line. We need to set the dimension of these, and then you guys are going to be the same as any side of a hex. We're going to choose that and put an equal constraint. And by doing that, we are fully defined again, and a nice pattern. So, now we're going to do the pattern, or the sketch pattern we're going to use to the, the profile to be embossed in the cylinder. So, I'm going to use, uh, sorry, OFF, offset. Uh, I hit the S keys to get the sh get shortcuts, and then offset. And uh, we can start with chain selection on here, as I mean, it shows this hexagon. And of course, I want to do it inwards, and I want to change, not construction anymore. I want to do uh, relines. And the distance here is going to be 
half of the width I want to do on this emboss pattern cut or what you do. So I'm gonna do this minus 1.5. I can, could have put this in a parameter one, but, but I don't want to. So the, the finish pattern is gonna be three millimeters on the surface of the cylinder. And if you cut in and out, it's gonna change the, the width of the core, of course, as the map says, like that. Once again, we're gonna do an offset. Turn off chain selection, it makes this easier. We choose this line, this line, and here. And once again, 1.5 millimeters. And I'm lazy, so I'm gonna use a mirror command. You can use offset again if you want to. These three lines here, as I have a center line, mirror across this line, like that. And now comes a small shortcut. I'm gonna do a rectangular pattern, and I wanna know the distance. If somebody has a better way to do this, please share. Uh, but this is the way I do it. You should be able to calculate it from the width or something like that. But I do like this. I do a line from here to here. And make saying, and then I, you know, I don't finish. Get, uh, sorry, I almost made a mistake here. Now I would do my rectangular pattern, which I see inside the uh, sketch. I have to do this inside the sketch. I'm going to use the sketch to emboss. Otherwise, I would do it uh, outside. So we are going to take uh, this line, uh, that line, that line, all our defined lines which you're going to use to create the pattern. Oh, sorry, not that one, uh, that one, uh, and that, but not the center line here. So I choose and everything that's part of the pattern. And then I go to use directions. And now I'm going to click the line I made. So the question is, why did I do this line? I use direction, but I also need to set up the distance type. Distance type is spacing, and what's the distance going to be? Yeah, with directions on and the last line highlighted, I just choose distance and I choose measure. And Fusion picks the last line I did, and the pattern's getting the correct spacing. And now I need to change direction type to symmetric. And let's do, I'm going to overdo the patterns a bit. I'm going to do 10 of them. So it just flies outside of everything. That's no problem. And I hit OK. And by doing that, I can now finish sketch. So now we have a little sketch we can use. We are going to do the emboss command. SK for open search. Emboss. Uh, sketch profile. Zoom in and choose this profile here. This one I'm going to use. And it wants a face. Yes, I'm going to turn on my bodies. Uh, this face. And now, of course, you have to set the effect. If you're going to do emboss or deboss, or I'm going to call it. And how much. So we're going to do it two millimeters. It works for me. So I do not change anything of alignment. That's good for me. Like that. I'm going to turn off my sketches. And the last thing I do is a circular pattern. A circular pattern. Feature, pattern types is feature. I do the emboss feature. Axis, I just use for any on the round size of a cylinder. And the quantity is number of hex. And by doing that and giving Fusion some time to think, we now have a hex pattern around everything. Now, if I want to change the number of hex for some reason, uh, this is just how you do it, if you know what you do. The problem is, if you want to, this is not totally parametric right now. If you want to do it parametric, please do and do the math how you can do it. Because if I change the number of hexes now, let's say to 24, uh, there will be a small crash in the patterns, as you can see. You see, the problem here is that rectangular patterns was based on a measurement. If you had done some calculations, maybe do it better. If someone would do it, you can do that. But if I now want to fix this, I can go back in the sketch. I open the sketch. I zoom in, I turn off body because it makes it easier. And I try to find my rectangular pattern, which ended up here. This is the rectangular pattern. Double tap that. I go over to direction. So that's chosen. It's still the line, the same one. But do you know, you go back to distance as we did earlier and tell it to measure again. And we now measure the line again. I hit OK. Finish sketch. I'm going to wait for Fusion to update. And I turn on the bodies again. And as you see, yeah, I only did 10 now, so it doesn't fill the whole, the whole cylinder. 
but you go back and change it. Uh, you can play around with setting up parameters a bit if you want to do that, but I recommend when you do something, like you need to sit down and think how much of a pattern you want to not play around too much because you will just spend hours then. So do some thinking, how many patterns you want, and then put it. So this is hex pattern and pass on the cylinder in four little small steps. So with that, I hope this is useful to you. Take care and see you around. Bye.